Good morning. Happy Thursday. And welcome to Coffee with Karma. My name is Karma Spence and I help entrepreneurs write a lead attracting book in 90 days or less. And today I'm going to be talking about five ways that you can spark ideas that fuel business growth. And you know what? They probably aren't what you expect them to be. I may surprise you. Because the first one is play. This is one of my favorite ways to generate ideas is to get one of those big sticky notepads that you can put like put up on your wall. Get some of those smelly colored pens or not so smelly. Uh, it depends. I do like the ones that smell like grape and whatnot, but uh, they don't have to have smell unless that's what you like. But they're like the big fat pens. And then I just play. I mind map, I do different colors. And this has been a, a technique I've used since I was a kid. In fact, um, and I mentioned this before, I, I didn't tell the story though. I got one of those pens that had the four different colors on it. They still make them, but they, they were like really big when I was like in the second or third grade. And I thought it was so cool that I could write each letter and so, and sometimes I would be a little lazy and do each word <laughs> in a different color. And my father was really concerned that I was spending so much time doing frivolous things because I tended to do that. I tended to, I remember in the eighth grade, we were supposed to create a model of DNA and I did the, the side things. I did mermaids so that, you know, the tail represented, I think the phosphates and the, and the body represents something else. And they had little crabs and little shells for the, for the, uh, a adenine, guanine, cytosine. How do I remember this stuff? <laughs> anyway, I spent an inordinate amount of time and every mermaid was different. I didn't even make all the mermaids the same, all the shell. I just, I like making things pretty. I spend a lot of time doing that. And my father got concerned when I was in like the second or third grade and I got pulled out of class by a psychologist who asked me a bunch of questions, had me draw a picture of my dad. Apparently I forgot to draw his glasses because my dad mentioned that when I got home. And the psychologist came to the conclusion that I just like to make things look pretty. So I find that play Long story short, I find that play really helps you come up with new ideas. When you're, Molly Mahoney says this, like when you're having fun in your business, you make more money. Play is an integral part of creativity. Some of the best creativity comes out when it looks like you're having fun. Watch any Gene Kelly film when he goes into his numbers and the way he does the choreography with whatever objects are, he looks like he's having so much fun. Fred and Ginger look like they're having so much fun. Now, whether they are or not is another thing because I have trained in dance and it's not always fun. But when you're in that creative mode, it, it's fun. So play. Tip number two, read. Read widely. Read differently. Read books, fiction, nonfiction. Read news read magazines, read blog posts, read widely, read in your field and read outside your field because this expands your mind. And when you're reading all these different things, who knows what you'll read that will go bing, there's a little light bulb over your head. So reading is really important. Tip number three, get enough sleep. <laughs> that is something I've been struggling with for a while because I've been um, having some issues that keep waking me up in the middle of the night. And so I'm tired all the time and my creativity is going. <laughs> when you get enough sleep, it gives you, it fuels your brain so that you can be creative. So sleep, protect your sleep as much as you can and get enough sleep. It is better to put your work away and go to bed on time than to push the midnight oil and wake up the next day completely dragging. Take it from me because I've been there, I've done it, and I keep doing it. It's a bad habit. <laughs> and it affects your creativity. Tip number four, listen. 
What are your ideal clients saying? How do you listen? You listen by what are they posting on your posts in social media? What are they saying in forums? What are they saying in groups? What are they saying on Quora? Listen to what your ideal prospects are saying, and that can fuel ideas for business growth. Because if you can give them what they're seeking, which by the way, is part of my three-step process of coming up with the right idea for a book, which is in my book that is available now. It's It all starts with an idea, available on Amazon right now, and for only 99 cents US. Apparently it's a little more in other countries, depending on how your, uh, the, what's it called, exchange? <laughs> anyway, go now. <laughs> Anyway, it's um, if you can give your prospects what they are seeking, then you will grow your business. Simple. And number five, be curious, my friend. <laughs> Always be asking, why? What if? I wonder how that works. One of my mottos is curiosity may have killed the cat, but satisfaction brought them back. And that's because, yes, my curiosity has gotten me into some trouble. I'm a very, maybe that's why I got bold kitty because he's bold is not what he is. He's curious. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why I got a curious cat. It's because I am inherently curious. And when you are inherently curious or foster curiosity in yourself, you discover things. Okay, sometimes they weren't so pleasant when I was a kid. But I was like, oh, I didn't mean to really discover that. Um, anyway, when you're curious, you discover things that can help your business. So one of the things I tend to be curious about is when I release a book and it doesn't do what I hoped it would do. I am curious about why. And honestly, the book that I um, release now, it's all about. What I was curious about is, could I go against my research? I, am I wrong? I mean, basically, I was testing to see if I'm wrong. And honestly, the book has been doing way better than I thought it would, but not as good as it probably would have done if I had followed my own three-step formula. So just saying the three-step formula does work. It doesn't mean you can't get to bestseller if you don't follow it. It just means you're more, you're more likely to hit bestseller and attract ideal clients if you follow it. So those are my five things. Play, read, sleep, listen, and be curious, my friend. Do those five things and you will spark ideas that will grow your business. This is Karma Spence saying, ciao for now. And I will see you tomorrow when I will be talking about five outside, innovative, unusual, unconventional ways to trigger a great book idea. See you tomorrow.